Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. An arrest has been made in a gun-related incident at Sarah Scott Middle School. Police say a man lifted his shirt to show a gun during an argument at a basketball game last night. Terre Haute Police arrested this man, Antonio Owens, around midnight. He's charged with possession of a handgun by a felon. Police detectives worked this case well into the night. Police say there's no threat to the public at this time, but they have increased their presence at the school. The Terre Haute community is still talking about the chaos from last night's game. News Santana Fullman spoke to one of the referees. He gives us more insight into exactly what happened at the game. I heard someone say gun, gun. That one word would be the start of a terrifying night for students at Sarah Scott Middle School after a man brought a handgun to a seventh grade basketball game. What he did last night was inexcusable to, to do that to all the folks that were there uh, and to take an evening that was really a great evening of basketball and, and turn it kind of into a, a night of terror, a night of anxiety. Steve Morris was one of the officials at Thursday's game. Morris has been a referee for 35 years. Never obviously had anything like that happen uh, in, in all. Of, I've done thousands and thousands of games and all of the sports that I do. And um, you always have that mentality that the, the things that are happening really couldn't happen here. The night started out with the Woodrow Wilson seventh grade boys basketball team facing Sarah Scott Middle School. Morris says the night was going well until the final timeout in the last eight seconds of the game. And then again, I heard gun, gun. And by then, everyone started coming out of the stands, the students, the parents, the fans. He says everyone went to nearby classrooms and barricaded themselves with desks for 20 minutes before the situation was given an all clear. It was evident that the students knew where they needed to go in a crisis situation. So I would have really good props to the staff and administration of Beagle County and of Sarah Scott particularly. The game was eventually called because of the chaos. At that point in time, it really wasn't important to anyone. Getting home and being safe and getting those hugs from mom and dad and brothers and sisters, that was much more important than the game that we were doing. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but Morris says he knows many students and parents are still shaken by this experience. He's hoping this is something they never have to go through again. Reporting in Terre Haute, Hannah Fullman, News 10.